wind can be really harsh on top of ridges. And also we wouldn't want to be down low in low areas because of... Well, this is a, a personal shelter. This is um, a leaf shelter, also called a debris hut. Um, it's meant to keep you warm and uh, without the presence of a fire, which is unusual for most shelters. It's designed to be kind of like a, a personal sleeping bag, though it's very non-portable. Um, it is considered to be a survival shelter, and, but you could, you know, until you maybe could make a, a larger shelter that might accommodate a fire if you were, you know, lost in the woods or living in the woods, practicing skills. Um, you could stay in this for several weeks if you wanted to. First off, find a, uh, a very stout, long, dead tree, like a, what they would call a ridge pole. And it needs to be, you know, at least wrist size diameter, a little bit bigger is better, as straight as possible. And since I'm six feet tall and my furthest reach is about eight feet, I want this to be at least two feet longer than my furthest reach. So minimum of 10 feet. 12 feet is probably more ideal. And that basic pole then, which I can either find on the forest floor or possibly find a, just a dead tree that I can walk over and, burp and push over, is going to be the main um, foundation of the shelter. That pole by itself, I could lash to the side of a tree at the, a certain height. And then along the sides, I would stick pieces of wood along that ridge pole <laughs> to accommodate my body. But what I like to do is I like to find two other stout sticks which have big forks in the end like this. And I'll interlock those like a tripod and then the long ridge pole will run through that. And so the whole shelter then is supported by those three main sticks which you can find in the woods. But they do need to be strong. And at that point then the ribbing would go along the sides. And then you just throw on whatever you can find. Debris is literally anything and everything that you can find in the woods, anything on the forest floor. It could be leaves, pine needles, sticks, whatever. And what you're looking for is um, some type of thermal mass. You know, you're trying to keep in your own body heat. It's good to have um, debris probably at least up to your elbow, meaning after the leaves are on, if I stick my arm through that debris toward the ribbing, when my fingertips hit that ribbing, it should be at least up to my elbow. If it's up to my shoulder, even better yet. And it does take some time to build, but it's something that, you know, can literally save your life. You know, obviously if you had a um, modern tent, you know, a, a lightweight tent, hopefully, and a sleeping bag, I mean, you know, most people would certainly opt for that. But the, but the point is, what if you didn't have that? You know, what if you were out on a, on a day hike somewhere and were like, didn't even think about bringing any supplies with you because you didn't think that, you know, number one, you had the, or could even possibly get lost, or number two, um, you know, the weather changed and you had a big storm coming in. And on top of that, you got lost. And so those store-bought items that you don't have um, suddenly don't do you any good, do they? And so having the knowledge to build this, to be able to possibly spend a night or two until you could figure out how to get out of that situation is really very empowering. And I can show you that if this clears up. And so if I have the time to do that, I would probably do that. If I didn't know the direction, I'd take the time to find out so that I could point my shelter where I wanted it to be. So, okay, we're